you know, when you go to bed and it feels like you just shut your eyes and walk right back up. That's how I feel. I need to get up. I've been laying here for like 20 minutes just staring at the wall. <sighs> Alexa, skip. I feel like right now is like the calm before the storm. In terms of this day, a little bit, but mostly like in terms of this week, we have senior week next week, then prom, then grad night, graduation, grad party. I need to find a roommate. I need it. It's just like a lot of big things going on in the next couple months. I haven't even done an intro. Welcome to today's video. It is a productive school day in my life. I have not done a daily vlog like this in a while and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. My nails are really hanging on by thread but I'm trying to wait to get them done until next week because prom. It just doesn't make sense to get them done now and then get them done again right before. Today is Wednesday. I got my wisdom teeth out six days ago in case you missed my last video. It's kind of funny if you want to go watch it. I was loopy off the anesthesia. It was so hard for me to wake up this morning. I had such a hard time getting out of bed. I sat in bed and like stared at the wall. I tried to film and I fell asleep with the camera in my hand. I was so tired and then I got up and I was fine. That always solves it. Just getting up. It's the worst part of the morning for me and then I'm fine. I'm good to go but the actual act of getting up is the worst. Anyway, I am on day six right now. Like I said, I'm feeling so much better. I finally ate solid foods yesterday, so I'm back to normal diet, normal schedule, normal everything. I didn't go to school on Monday. I was debating whether or not I was gonna go on Sunday night. I was like, I don't know, I'm still in a little pain. I was still a little swollen, and I just really didn't feel like going. And the second I decided not to go, like all the stress left my body. I hate saying this because I feel like it sounds so privilege and it is a very privileged thing to say but i'm just like i don't care about school right now i like going to school i like having my routine i don't want to miss the simplicity of my routine but i need to get out of the simple routine you know what i mean it's such a bittersweet place to be because i want to soak up every moment so bad but i'm also getting to the stage where i'm ready to be done i'm over it i'm also probably gonna cry at graduation like i'm so in the middle feelings wise with everything so anyway i have a lot going on today so of course i'm taking you guys along with me there's a lot going on but not a lot of it is scheduled and those days i feel like for me are the hardest to get stuff done because i have no one telling me i need to be anywhere i just have to create the structure for myself so when i get to my first class i'm gonna plan out my day and outline everything so Hopefully I can get as much done as possible. I basically need to run some errands. I took my sheets off my bed this morning. I'm like off on my uh, cleaning schedule. The only cleaning schedule I have is washing my sheets on the weekends. But I did do that this weekend because I was in bed and then I just haven't done it. I need to order the flowers for prom. I finally decided on my prom dress so I'll show that to you guys. Need to return two ties. I bought two and both of them were the wrong color. So I need to order another one. I have a little bit of homework, a little bit of editing. And I want to go to yoga tonight at 7.30. Which I have not worked out in like a week and a half because of the wisdom tea thing, which was honestly kind of nice. But I want to get back and things. I need to do my makeup and shut up. It's already 7 to 7. This side is a little bit tender still. It's a little sore, but this side I feel like is doing better. I've been so amazed at the human body through this whole process because it just knows what to do. Like it knows when to return to normal. It's just the coolest thing to me because I see so much evidence of God and healing and in the human body. I finally got an eyebrow pencil to fill in this weird gap that I have in my eyebrow. Hair just doesn't grow in right there. I also had a devastating realization the other day. So my twin sister Allie, who is a competitive cheerleader, and my best friend Grace, who's also a competitive cheerleader, won't be at prom because they'll be in Florida for a competition, which is so sad. I wish they- oh, I just- dislodge that handlebar anyway they'll be gone for a competition and grace does my makeup all the time and i use a bunch of Allie's makeup all the time for dances and special events because she has all the stage makeup and this is the extent of what i do every day i don't own foundation basically so me and grace are going to sephora today and we're gonna go a little wild for my prom makeup because i realized oh my gosh if i need to do my makeup for special events in college like, i really need to learn how to do it now so i'm not struggling when that time comes I was gonna straighten my hair because I slept with it in a braid last night, but I don't think I'm going to. Anyway, there we go. Here's my outfit today. I literally have sweatpants on underneath this skirt, and I'm gonna wait till the very last minute to take them off. Also, my clip already fell out, so it's not gonna happen. Okay. Ready to go. 
I have this little laundry to fold later. But otherwise, my room is still really clean from my cleaning yesterday. Why are you wearing sweats? I'm cold. Bye, Papa. We're out of class. And we're ready to leave. It looks no. different. I have a long life. I don't lie, you don't look too bad. It's 15 minutes of oh It is 11, 27, 78 degrees outside. My car is always wrong though. But it says 78, so it's probably like 73. I'm meeting Grace at Chipotle and then we're going to Sephora. I have a Chipotle gift card and I'm so excited. I haven't been able to eat real food basically for the last week. So I've been going all out the past two days. Anyway, um, I feel like I've been so dehydrated because all the cups that I usually use have straws. I just feel like I haven't been drinking any water because I usually drink water only out of straws. So I'm so grateful today to be back to normal. I'm sweating my you know what off right now though. Also, I don't know what I was thinking earlier. I'm not going to yoga tonight because Allie has her showcase uh, for one of her teams. One was last night and the other one is tonight. So I want to go tonight because I didn't get to go yesterday. I'm going to turn up the air conditioning. It gets so loud, listen. I can never vlog with it all the way up. This isn't either of our shades. Really? Let's be honest. Oh, that's a bummer. Wait, 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 hold the phone. These are the same, these are the same. We found it. We're literally fighting over the one. What is it? Come on. Shade three. I'll, I'll order you one online that'll come for you if you give me that for prom. I just said that for you. We're gonna get home. It's not gonna be the right shade. And we're gonna be like, all oh, that. I don't know. I'm not gonna open it. I You're gonna got, buy it. Guys, I once got kicked out of this Target. We'll open it and try it. I'm not gonna open it. They're, They're gonna, gonna kick me out. out. Okay. Where do you see a worker? At last time there was a worker, they were watching me on the cameras. You gonna buy it. And I was using a Maybelline tester. I don't even know what. Test so I can get it if you don't like it. <laughs> this was pre-COVID, so there was a tester. tester. I'm not helping you with your makeup products anymore. Wait, 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 there's another one on the other side. It brings out your imperfections. Which is like not. Why are you putting it on my face? You gotta, you gotta t put it on your face, Katie. Just put it on your freaking face. Is it, is it too dark? <gasps> I don't know, blend it out. Blend it. I'm gonna have a tan, so. Is it too dark? Your camera, no, it's fine. You wanted it? I'll order you one online That's so fine. it comes for you. I'll order you one online. Right. I'll just get it for myself. Here is my to-do list with all my emojis that I promised you. We are leaving Target. I'm getting shorts because I am sweating so much and I want to be out of this skirt and I don't have time to go home. We're gonna get our... I still get, I've been vlogging for years and I still get awkward vlogging in public. I can so do it, um, me. Uh, we're gonna get our treats and then we'll give you a haul. We're gonna get our treats. <laughs> And then we're gonna give you a haul of everything that you got. I don't mind vlogging because like we I'll do, never. We have to get in line. Get oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna walk out the door. Treat secured. I got this and Grace got boba. We'd be so good on a podcast. I think we'd be kind of a good singer together. Like yeah, what do we start? Up? Should we start a podcast? Ali's gonna, get, Ali's gonna feel excluded. We're back in the car. The uh, shopping we're has about concluded. to go our separate ways. We had our treats. We had lunch. It was really just a great we time. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then. I'll be on my way. Actually, I might, ooh, I might stay and work a little bit. You can go to the mall with me, but I don't know. First, I got this Elf Halo Glow. We found the Halo Glow, as you know, in Target. I also got this Hot for it. eyeshadow palette for prom. You take them out of the packaging. I finally found this in stock at Sephora. I've been trying to get this for so long, but it's always been out of stock, and I just never really cared to order it online. It's definitely stock unnecessary, it. but it was on sale, so I got it. Let's test it. Oh, it's really nice. How does it look? Looks really good. Thank you. And then lastly, I got this from Sephora. Everything was 15% off, which is. I thought it was 20% off. Exciting. I think something was 20 something. I was got 15. 20. Maybe it was your status. Oh, you, have a, you definitely set. have a better status than I do. Um, I'll link to everything down below in case you're interested. So I just got, I got the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. It's like a contour stick. So I got it in medium, and I can't open it to save my life. Wait, wait, what? Let's give her her full moment to shine in the sun. Hi. Ah, Stop. <laughs> all right, all of a sudden I've realized how busy I am and how much I am really doing today. So here's the rundown. I'm gonna sit in my car right now or go back in there, there's a coffee shop, and do my math homework and record a presentation. I missed class, so I have to record myself giving the presentation and send it to my teacher and edit and upload a TikTok and maybe work on another one, but. I'm gonna try to get those three things done because then I'm gonna stop by the softball game at my school because my friends from another school are playing our school and I wanna see them and Matt's sister's on that team. Then I'm going to Matt's game. I'm probably gonna be late to that, but I'm just like getting an end because Lauren's gonna be there and then we're gonna go scope out prom photo locations. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna drive like all over the county today. Then Allie showcase for cheer, then back home. I'm gonna meal prep my tofu for tomorrow, clean my room and I won't be able to go return any of the stuff I was supposed to return. I have two dresses and two ties 
nice to return. But the reason I'm trying to get all this done today is because I'm babysitting or like nannying all afternoon tomorrow. So that'll probably be it. I really don't want to go back in there. I would love to just sit in my car and do this, but it's so hot and I can't turn the air on because the battery is going to die because I've had issues with that in the past. I need to also get gas at some point during all of that and probably dinner. I'll figure it out. I'm so glad I bought those shorts. I keep extra clothes in my car, but I have two pairs of sweatpants and two hoodies in here, and that's about it. Anyway, I have a sports bra on, so maybe I'll just take this off. I'll keep you updated. Oh my gosh, I do have to go back in because I need to return this. This is Allie's that I was supposed to return to American Eagle, so I guess I'll just be going back in. Also, I'm gonna return the, or not return, order the prom flowers tomorrow too because the florist is in the complete opposite direction of everywhere i'm supposed to go for the rest of the day i posted the tiktok and filmed my presentation it took me 30 minutes because i kept messing up my words i could not get it out it's three minutes and i at one minute every time i kept forgetting what to say so next is math and then i gotta go return that done it was easy also these look like drugs but they're literally just mints because my breath smells so bad. It's not as bad today, but my breath was smelling so bad from the wizardy thing. You guys, I just got to the baseball game. I'm gonna have to tell you more about it later because I need to go, but that was the most infuriating drive of my entire life. It was 54 minutes and it was supposed to be 23. Okay, bye. Jackson, double, right? Uh, I don't remember. Jackson made a great hit. It was so cool. Incredible. Yes. The drive was wild. The drive was insane. Yeah, the area is not really it. Not the best. <laughs> but they're towing people's cars. Oh, cool. I was on the curb. Anyway. Katie's driving me to my car, even though yes. it's across the parking and lot. And I'm going to Allie's cheer thing, and I'll probably just get food afterwards. They might have food there. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what this guy's doing. But <clears throat> success. It's 623. Oh. oh my gosh. And it's so bright. My throat hurts from screaming so much. Oh, Buying the I, Game Changer Premium and I'm watching not. the live stream. You're not, are you serious? I'll yeah. also send you videos. Okay. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. Sarah's here, we're at the show off. This is crazy. They just finished and they were so good. They were insane. I don't, I'm sweating watching. I know. I, could you crazy. imagine? <laughs> I would die. I'm not cut out for that. It's like five year olds with abs, dude. I know. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I hate this. We're in and out. I can't believe I still have not been home all day, but we're getting burgers and I'm so excited. I'm back. I swear this looks so yellow. I just pulled in the driveway and it is 10 21 currently. I am gonna extend this vlog into tomorrow. Hold on, I need to get out of this thing. I can't believe I've been in this all day. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> oh my gosh, you just flew up the stairs. I was vlogging you. It weighs 51.2 pounds. She leaves tomorrow. Say hi. Today I'm the last ever all star shoot practice. Wow. How do you feel about it? So sad. I'm sorry. We're at the Katie. <laughs> My hair right now. Have had these blazers on for Wait, we need to hours on end. It's been like 12 hours. Over 12 hours. 13 hours. <laughs> I feel a million times better. I showered and I made my tea and this big old thing of uh, berries and carrots. And I'm also having this chocolate because my nails are so bad. Um, I'm incapable of going to bed without having a sweet treat. I am so tired. I'm ready for bed. It's been a long day, but it's been such a good day. Me and Sarah talked for so long in the In-N-Out parking lot, and it was just the best. Like Those are the best kinds of conversations, you know, when you're just like catching up on so much stuff. I also, when I got home, spent some time with my mom and Allie because they're leaving tomorrow for a while to Florida for Allie's competition, but I'm ready for bed. I'm extending this vlog into tomorrow because heaven knows I definitely do not have enough footage and like why not because i don't have any other content planned for tomorrow like i said today was a great day i honestly did not get around to everything on my to-do list i didn't meal prep the tofu i'll just do that tomorrow but that doesn't matter to me because i got to do my favorite thing today which is cheer on the people i love i'm not gonna look back in five years and be like oh, i really wish i would have prepped that tofu i'm gonna look back and be like oh my gosh i'm so glad i went to that baseball game i'm so glad i went to watch ali's last cheer thing and you know things like that I'm really trying to prioritize, especially in this time where I don't have, you know, a lot of my time 
at home right now is limited because I'm going away to college soon. So I'm really trying to set my priorities straight and spend my time where it's the most meaningful for me. And today, that was with a lot of people. Like, that does not happen every day. I had, like, spontaneous fun things come up and it was a fun day but i'm gonna get in bed with my grandma snacks and go to bed because actually probably not go to bed i'm gonna watch a show uh maybe read a little bit like take some me time because i feel like i've poured out a lot a lot today which is my favorite thing to do like i love being with people i'm such an extrovert i get my energy from other people sorry this is gross i'm eating on camera but you can't pour from an empty cup so I'm gonna refill my cup and the best way I know how to do that is with having me time and doing my devotionals I need to show you guys this devotional I'm doing. Hold on. This is it. It's on the Bible app, the YouVersion Bible app I've tried to link these but I don't know if there's a way how or I'm sorry a way to link them But it's called Philippians whatever happens. I'm on day 5 of 35 But it's been really good and the verse today says but what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I just took a sip of this string. Tomorrow. This is really good, by the way. My mom got it for me for Easter. Hello. Happy Thursday. I cannot believe that it's almost Friday. I feel like this week has flown. I am very late for school today because my alarm never went off this morning. My hatch alarm that I have next to my bed unplugged in the middle of the night somehow. And so my alarm never went off. And Allie woke me up as she was leaving for school but i'm only gonna be like six minutes late so today is another eventful day i'm gonna go to my classes come home make my lunch do my returns babysit like all afternoon and then go to the gym maybe maybe not edit i don't know we'll see and then i need to go to bed early because i did not sleep well last night or maybe i did but i woke up so beyond disoriented the galley came in my room woke me up and i was like what's going on what's going on i don't even know anyway this life is crazy i'm going to class I pray that it won't be over soon. hello guys i am so sorry i have not had to do all day i was babysitting way longer than i thought i was gonna be but i am back home now hold on outdoor asmr i'm back home now i'm honestly exhausted and it's just because i'm so hungry it was also very eventful babysitting time i'm just sitting out here in the backyard i'm wearing my colorado shirt i love babysitting so much it's probably what i would be doing like i'd probably be nannying in the afternoons if i wasn't doing social media stuff but it's so draining you know, because it's just so much pouring out. I got there at 2 and it's 7 right now. And I'm starving. I definitely need to eat. I look like a literal hard-boiled egg right now. I had a really fun day at school. We took a bunch of photos. We have our senior spirit week next week. And we have dress-up days. So we took photos for dress-up days. We filmed the school news. I didn't really go to my second class because I was doing all that stuff. And I was going to go to the gym, but I don't know if I'm going to anymore. If I eat, I'll probably feel more like it. But I don't know. I don't want to eat out again because i've done it all week but i really don't want to make food also i can't believe it's seven o'clock and it's this light out Seven ten, no seven eleven. your call has no. been forwarded to an automated hello hi have you eaten dinner yeah why oh, that's so upsetting i'm just like looking for someone to get food with oh yeah i'm so sorry i just ate what'd you have Bajal. No! Yeah. That's oh, that's so heartbreaking. It's okay. What should I get? I'm definitely not cooking anything. I've officially decided. I swear I have a vein like popping out of my forehead right now. You and me don't. What is that? Okay. Love you, bye. Bye. <laughs> I did not use a big enough cutting board. Oh my gosh. That was really stupid. I salvaged some of them. I cannot win. Here she is. I'm gonna feast. Sorry, I didn't realize that I blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I realized I didn't update you guys. Matt was unresponsive and Grace had already had dinner so I kind of like exhausted my main options for dinner. So I made pasta and it was delicious. It was the brown rice pasta from Trader Joe's. I just used tomato sauce from a can and I also cooked my mom's lemon cauliflower recipe. Sorry, you can't see a thing right now. I am taking myself on a date. 
to yogurt land i've been eating like crap this whole week or this the past couple days but it's really honestly been what i've needed after the trauma that was last week last week felt like it was a million years long because i couldn't eat real food you already heard the spiel at the beginning of this vlog but i'm getting there right when it closes i don't know why this yogurt land closes so early people they're doing themselves such a big fat this service like people want to get ice cream late at night i swear i have this issue twice a month with this exact yogurt land location because they close so freaking early in the night anyway i'll keep you updated i like praying to jesus that i make it there's a golden spoon in the same complex but golden spoon is just not hit the same so my fingers and toes are crossed it's open thank god I secured the ice cream. I got one for my dad too because he was working late and he won't be home until later. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is literally huge. I filled it up to the top so I probably won't eat it all but thank god. I remember in COVID when they wouldn't let you scoop your own toppings. That was heinous. I'll see you when I get home. I need to do all the work. I've been procrastinating. Step one is to clean up this room. It really is not bad at all. It's just this laundry and the carpet not being vacuumed makes it look a lot worse. Also the bed not being made. I feel like if the bed was made there wouldn't be nails. If there wouldn't be an issue. Also, I don't know who I was lying to when I said I'm not gonna finish that whole thing of frozen yogurt. I ate it so fast. All of it in the car. It was so good. I've been on TikTok for probably like an hour. Don't be fooled, but I'm gonna clean. Hi guys, it's Saturday morning and i'm ending this vlog here i'm about to go play pickleball with my dad it's like 80 something degrees outside so i need to get sunscreen and need to get the paddles and water and everything else but i wanted to end this vlog thank you guys so much for watching i hope you had a great weekend because i'm posting this tomorrow and i will see you in my next video wait look who's gonna say bye to you she loves the sunshine good girl bye guys